We are in a chapter called Coordinate Geometry. I already told you one of the easiest, simplest chapter it is. All problems are based on formula. Therefore, it is a scoring area. Coordinate Geometry. What is Coordinate Geometry? Coordinate Geometry is nothing but the algebraic method of learning geometrical figures. Coordinate Geometry is widely used in the field of physics engineering, graphics, seismology, navigation, they are all we can able to find the application of coordinate geometry. To understand the coordinate geometry, we have to understand the coordinate system. Coordinate system is a system of two axes, x-axis, y-axis. X-axis is horizontal axis, it is also called abscessa. Y-axis is the vertical axis, and also called ordinate. Both these two axes intersect at a point called origin. The coordinate of the origin is 0, 0. If any point on the x-axis, its y-coordinate is 0. If a point on the y-axis, its x-coordinate is 0. To identify the distance, the basic principle of this particular chapter is the finding the distance between the two points. The, there are four formulas we can guess. The one is D is equal to X2 minus X1. This formula is applied for the lines which are parallel to X axis. D is equal to X2 minus X1. If the points are parallel to Y axis, D is equal to Y2 minus Y1. Using these two, we can find the distance between any two points on the coordinate system that is called the distance formula and the distance formula are derived with the help of Pythagoras theorem. What is the distance formula? D is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. There is one more formula to find the distance of a point from the origin that is D is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Using these formulas we are going to solve problems and 100% we are going to get problems on distance formula because that is so important it is coordinate geometry without distance formula is meaningless therefore distance formula you have to remember you have to write you have to practice you have to derive and you have all these problems you have to sit along with the teacher while seeing the video you have to write without writing you can't learn mathematics therefore along with me you have also solve this problem because length, some of the problems are very lengthy now I, I am in the exercise 7.1 already I completed 5 problems in the previous class today I am going to start with the 6th problem again all problems are very lengthy it is therefore you have to sit and write along with them right now see the 6th problem is having 3 sub questions it is the first sub question I have written here Name the type of the quadrilateral form if any by the following points and give the reasons for your answer. They are given four uh, points, four coordinate points. By joining them we are going to get a quadrilateral, four sided geometrical figure. What type of quadrilateral we are going to get, that we have to analyze by using the distance formula and what is the type? Quadrilateral means it may be a square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, uh, like that many uh, uh, types of quadrilaterals are there. The, which one it is, we have to identify. For that one, the formula used by us is, the formula, which is the formula we use, the formula is distance formula. I write the formula first, distance formula, you have to write distance formula for each and every problem. Distance formula D is equal to square root of square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 whole square. You have to write down, otherwise it becomes square. x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now what we have to do is we have to verify is this quadrilateral, the quadrilateral what we are going to get by joining these points, 
is it what type of quadrilateral it is what type it is for that purpose what i do is i write a rough figure here see here i write a rough figure one rough figure i write i write this as a b c d a b c d is my quadrilateral i take the quadrilateral point coordinate for coordinates of point a is minus 1 comma minus 2 this is a b is 1 comma 0 c is minus 1 comma 2 c is minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 these are the points right now i have to check what type of quadrilateral it is therefore what you have to do i wanted to find the length of ab bc cd qd then i can guess what type of quadrilateral it may be suppose it is not sufficient this data is not sufficient then i wanted to find the lengths of the diagonals then i can get an idea what type of quadrilateral it is for the one first one is i wanted to find the lengths the first using the formula distance formula this is the distance formula distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 Right. Let us concentrate on this particular diagram. First, first one. So many times I have to apply a distance formula. Therefore, I cut short some of the points of squaring all and reduce the steps. See, let first I find the length of AB. Let x1 y1. Let x1 y1 is equal to minus one comma minus two. X2 y2. X to Y to is equal to one comma zero. One comma zero. I am finding the length of AB. Therefore, I write AB only. I don't write D. I am applying distance formula. Distance formula only tells X to minus X one. X to means what? One minus X one means minus of minus. One whole square plus y two minus y one. What is y two? Zero. Zero minus of minus two whole square. Try to understand. Once it is better to verify. X two means one minus of minus one whole square. Then y two is zero minus. Of minus minus two whole square. Now, a b equals square root of. Now see, this is minus into minus plus one plus one. One plus one is two. Two square is four. I am reducing the steps. Try to understand. Minus into minus is plus one plus one. One plus one is two. Two square is four because so many times we have to apply distance formula and this is all simplification. You are all well versed with the simplification because the paper setter understands that you are in ten standard. Ten standard so easy to do this. Plus zero minus into minus plus minus into minus plus plus two square four plus two. Four plus four. Now A B is equal to root four plus four is E. I can keep it like this one, or I can write four into two. I can write two root two. Not required. We can write this one because we want the value only. A B is equal to root eight. I keep this as root eight only. I don't make it as two root. If you are good in production, good. This is my first one. AB is equal to root A. AB is over. Now I find BC. For BC, let let x1 y1 let x1 y1 is equal to one comma zero and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to minus one comma two minus one comma two minus one comma two one comma zero. 
minus 1 comma. Now I am finding the length of BC using distance formula. See here. X2 minus X1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 this one X2 is minus 1 minus X1 is 1. Whole square plus Y2 minus Y1. Y2 is 2. 2 minus 0 whole square. BC is equal to, now I write directly, you have to have an idea now. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 square is 4. And 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 square is 4. Then I got BC as root 8. BC is equal to root 8. The length of BC is also equal to root 8. I can even write this root 8 as 2. 2. I don't write. BC is over. Now I go for CD. AB, BC, CD. I put a line here. Let X1, Y1. Now I am finding CD. X1, Y1 is equal to minus 1 comma 2 and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 minus 1 comma 2 minus 3 comma 0 right now I want cd cd is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 means Minus 3 minus of minus 1 whole square. Try to understand. Minus 3 that is x2. Minus is the minus of the sun, uh, formula. And this minus is the minus of the x1 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1. y2 is 0. 0 minus 2 whole square. Here also we have to simplify. You should use your mathematical skill. See, minus 3, this is minus into minus become plus, plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 square is 4. Use your skill. You are in 10th standard. Next year you are going for the college. I need to the skill. Minus into minus is plus. Plus 1 it is. Minus 3 plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 square is 4. Plus. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 square is also 4. Therefore 4 plus 4 is 8. CD is equal to 8. Root 8. I got CD is equal to root 8. This is also my CD is equal to root 8. I got AB is equal to root 8. BC is equal to root 8. CD is equal to root 8. And then I want DA. I wanted to find what? DA. DA. Let X1, Y1. I go for cyclic order. X1, Y1 is equal to minus 3, comma 0. And X2, Y2 is equal to x2 y2 is equal to minus 1 comma minus 2. See children, this is you have to write. You have to write. You have to write and practice this. You are making the teachers to sit and write. And you are looking into the, uh, the, the maths where the teacher is working and students are sitting. It is wrong it is. Actually, students should write. Right? You have to write. x1 y1 is equal to minus 3 comma 0 x2 y2 is equal to minus 1 comma minus 2 then da is equal to da instead of d i write the length of the line x2 minus x1 what is x2 minus 1 minus 1 minus of the formula and x1 is minus 3 whole square try to understand the skill it is Minus 1, minus into minus plus it becomes minus 1 plus 3, minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2, plus 2 whole square is 4. The whole value is equal to 4. Then plus 
y2 minus y1, y2 is what? Minus 2. y1 is 0, whole square. Already I told you that the value of this is minus 1 minus into minus plus plus 3 it becomes minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 plus 2 square is 4 minus 2 whole square is 4 therefore da is equal to root e see all the four sides I calculated I got as root e therefore my inference is in the quadrilateral, the quadrilateral what we are going to get, the quadrilateral, we try to understand. They are given four coordinates. The coordinates are minus one, comma, minus two, one comma zero, minus one, uh, comma two, minus three, comma zero. Using distance formula, uh, I am able to find the distance. By joining those uh, coordinates, I get a quadrilateral. I identify the sides of the quadrilateral. I, I understood that all the sides are equal. All the sides are equal means problem it is. Why? Because when all the sides are equal, we have two quadrilaterals having all the sides are equal. One is this square. I already solved this type of problem in the previous class. One is the square. Another one is the rhombus. The champa chameli problem I solved. In that problem, the student is sat at four different places. It is a square. To prove that it is a square, we have to have a round bus, we have to do another two steps. One is one is that sides we have to identify. If all the sides are equal, the given quadrilateral may be a square or a round bus. What is the difference between a square and a round bus? In the case of a square, diagonals are equal. In the case of a round bus, diagonals are not equal. Therefore, now I understood this may be a square or a round bus, but I don't know what is exactly it is. Therefore, what Again, I want to continue this problem. What do you have problem? I wanted to find the diagonals. I change the color. I wanted to find the diagonal. I wanted the diagonal is the length of EC I should find and length of uh, BD I should find. Now the next step is I find the length of AC. Again. I write a line here. Now to verify either now understood that. I got a quadrilateral, all the sides are equal. Now to verify, to check, is the quadrilateral in a square or a rhombus, I do another verification. What is that? Let, I wanted to find the length of AC. Let x1, y1, x1, y1 is equal to minus 1, comma, minus 2, x2, y2 is equal to, x2, y2 is equal to, minus 1 comma 2 this is the length of AC therefore AC is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 minus 1 minus of minus 1 whole square minus 1 minus minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus of minus 2 whole square 2 minus of minus 2 whole square. AC root of see this becomes minus 1 minus into minus it becomes plus minus 1 plus 1 cancels 0 becomes 0 square is 0 plus 2 minus into minus plus 2 plus 2 becomes 4. 4 square is equal to 16. I repeat once again. Minus into minus plus. There, therefore, inside the bracket there is minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 cancels, it becomes 0. 0 square is 0. Here, minus into minus plus. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 square is 16. Now, 0 plus 16 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 16 is 4. Therefore, AC is equal to 4. I got one more answer. This is this answer. I put a box with that. Yellow. Because this is that. So far, I calculate the distance of the sides. Now, I am finding the distance of the diagonals. Next. Not sufficient. Again, I wanted to find the length of BD. 
let let x1 y1 let x1 y1 is equal to 1 comma 0 and x2 y2 is equal to x2 y2 is equal to b d and what minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 now see the length of BD it is nothing but a diagonal square root of x2 minus x1 minus 3 x2 minus 3 minus 1 whole square minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus easy part 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 is 0 right now BD is equal now use your brain minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 minus 4 square is minus 4 square is 16 16 plus 0 how simple mathematical skills it is see solving this type of problem one is it checks our endurance how long we can help, uh, keep our interest that is the endurance test some people they start one or two lines they write then they lose interest they do some something else they stop some children are very much interested to continue they, they keep on concentrating on the problem therefore they have a better endurance this is a problem of endurance there the, the paper setter is checking your endurance how long you can keep your interest see the mathematical skill is 6 plus, 16 plus 0 is 16 square root of 16 is 4 therefore bd BD is equal to 4. Now I should give my inference. Give reason that at all after that. Give reason also. The idea is fantastic it is. By joining the points, we get a quadrilateral. By joining the points, what we get? We get a quadrilateral. I check the sides of the quadrilateral. All the sides are equal. When I check the lengths of the diagonal, lengths of the diagonal also equal. Therefore, I can openly say that, hello, this quadrilateral is a square. Because all the sides are equal and the diagonals are equal. Therefore, it is a square. That is my reasoning. That is my judgment. Where to write? I can write here. The given. The, the given points are the vertices of vertices of a square vertices of a square why because because all sides are equal all sides are equal all sides are equal and Diagonals, diagonals are also equal. Also, that is my what is the judgment? I repeat, what they are asking is four coordinates. Join them. You get a quadrilateral. What type of quadrilateral it is? To give suggestion, you have to reason out. I join. I took the four vertices and I made a quadrilateral. Identify the sides. Each side of this quadrilateral, I got it as root A. Therefore, all the sides are equal. Then I got it down. If all the sides are equal in a quadrilateral, that quadrilateral may be a rhombus or a square. If it is a square, their diagonals are equal. If it is a rhombus, diagonals are not equal. Therefore, to check that one, I calculated the distance of the diagonals also. AC and BD. AC and BD are equal to 4 and 1. Therefore, my conclusion is, in the quadrilateral obtained, all the four sides are equal, diagonals are equal. Therefore, it is a square. It is a square. That is my judgment. That is the answer of this particular problem. Very nice problem. If you keep your interest from the start to end, you have a better patience to solve a problem. 
to check your patients this type of problems are very much important right second sub question of the problem number 6 again i tell you all these problems are lengthy problem very easy problem same type of formula we have to apply therefore you have to sit and write with us by mere seeing no use you have to sit and write i am using only one formula that is distance formula the problem is again okay, uh, they are given four coordinates we have to identify what type of quadrilateral we get and we have to tell our reason also for that purpose again i write the distance formula distance formula you have to write simply see distance formula see no use you have to write you are a student you have to sit and write distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus writing like this for three times definitely you can not but understand this particular formula you never going to forget this y2 minus y1 whole square this is the formula when you write the formula put a box because the writer can understand the student knows the importance of the formula the next is what what we are going to get by joining these coordinates quadrilateral what is a quadrilateral quadrilateral is a geometrical figure having four uh, sides close geometrical figure having four sides therefore i write approximately i write a quadrilateral there is no need that you have to write in a square shape or a round shape whatever some shape right because by that finally we tell that what type of this quadrilateral Right. I will tell you quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a closed geometrical figure having four sides. I name them as A, B, C, D. Any name you can give. A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S. You can give. Then the coordinates is given. Yeah, I take the coordinate as minus three comma five. Always take in a cyclic order. After ye, don't go to the C. A, B, C, D format. Cyclic format. After ye. Come to the B. Three comma one. Next C. Zero comma three. D. That is minus one comma minus four. Minus one comma minus four. This is the vertices of the four uh, quadrilateral A B C D. Now I am going to find the length of A B B C C D. A. Then I cross check. Anything I get a word. Then again by cross checking the diagonals of the diagonal, I can verify. I give a judgment for that. But the first thing is, I first find the length of AB. Same method only I did for the previous problem also. Therefore, actually this problem I should not do this because this is a problem for the practice. You have to sit and write. Since it is a video class, I am solving this. Let x1 y1 is equal to minus three comma five, and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to three comma minus three comma one. Three comma one. Three comma one. Now the length is AB. AB is equal to square root of x two means three, x one means minus three. Then it is minus of minus three whole square. This is x two minus x one whole square plus. Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Y2 is 1 minus 5 whole square. Then what it becomes? AB equal square root of C 3 3 is minus into minus it becomes plus 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 square is 36. That you have to understand. That is the mathematical skill. Minus into minus plus 
3 plus 3, 6. 6 square is 36. Plus 1 minus 5 is minus 4. Minus 4 square. Minus 4 square is 16. Minus 4 square is 16. Then you have to add. Add in addition is also a mathematical skill. It's all by adding, adding only you become a proficiency. XP, you get more knowledge. You have to do it. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Therefore, I got 50 to root 52. I can reduce this. There is no need to reduce. I can write this as 4 into 13 square root of 4, 4 is 2. 2 root 13 I can write. I don't do that. Why? Because I don't require all those things. I return, I got AB is equal to root 52. AB is over. Now I find BC. Let for BC, let x1 y1 is equal to b, that is 3 comma 1 and x2 y2, x2 y2 is equal to 0 comma 3, 0 comma 3. I am finding the length of BC. BC is equal to square root of, BC is equal to square root of 0 minus 3 whole square. 0 minus 3 whole square plus 3 y2 3 3 minus 1 whole square 0 minus 3 whole square is x2, x2 minus x1 3 minus 1 is y2 minus y1 whole square now use your mathematical skill mathematical skill is required for your life do it 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is 9. Minus 3 whole square is 9. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 square is 4. 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. Therefore, BC is equal to root 13. BC is equal to root 13. That is the length of Another side. Root 13. BC is over. Now I want CD. CD. Let X1, Y1 is equal to 0, 3. X2, Y2 x2 y2 is equal to minus 1 comma minus 4 that is d now i am finding c d c d therefore c d is equal to square root of x2 minus, minus 1 minus x1 is 0 whole square plus minus 1 or minus 4 Minus 3 whole square. Try to understand. Minus 1 minus 0 whole square. Minus 4 minus 3 whole square. Therefore, CD is equal to use mathematical skill. Minus 1 minus 0 minus 1. Minus 1 square 1. Plus minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 is minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 minus 7 square 49 49 cd is equal to root 1 plus 49 1 plus 49 is 50 cd is equal to root 50 here also i can reduce i don't reduce i can write this as 25 into 2 5 root 2 i can write and go to that it is not required. If it is required, you can do. CD is equal to root 50. Third one is over. Fourth one. Actually, by seeing this only, I can tell that three sides are not equal. Then obviously, should the third side also something else. 
it is mere quadrilateral it cannot be any uh, type the next is let x1 y1 is equal to now i am finding da minus 1 comma minus 4 and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to minus 3 comma 5 now i am finding the length of da da square root of x2 minus 3 minus of minus 1 whole square minus 3 minus minus 1 this is the minus of the formula this is the minus of the number minus of the formula minus of the number you can understand it is all skill plus y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 means 5 Minus. This is the minus of the formula, and there is a minus of the number. Therefore, minus four whole square five minus of minus four whole square. Right? Now, D A is equal to square root of minus into minus plus minus three plus one. Minus three plus one is minus two. Minus two square is minus two square is the next is plus minus into minus plus five plus four five plus four is nine nine square is eighty one nine square is eighty one minus into minus plus five plus four is nine nine square is eighty one four plus eighty one the a is equal to Square root of four plus eighty-one is eighty-five. Now see, I made a quadrilateral by joining the vertices, double vertices. I I am able to identify the lengths of each side by using distance formula. Distance formula D is equal to square root of x two minus x four minus square plus y two minus y one minus square. But what I understood is all the sides are different in nature. They are not equal. They are not equal. All the four sides are not equal. Therefore, this quadrilateral is not going to fit for any type of the quadrilateral. It is mere simple quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral. That's all. Therefore, the given the given points. Are the vertices of are vertices of a simple quadrilateral quadrilateral lateral simple quadrilateral because all the sides are not equal because all the sides are Not all the sides are different. I'm sorry, not sides. All the sides are different, different, different. Therefore, it, it cannot be a square. It cannot be a, if it can it can be a square. It cannot be a rhombus. It cannot be a rectangle. It cannot be a rhombus. It cannot be a trapeze. Trapeze. It cannot be what is known as uh, uh, parallelogram. Therefore, it is a simple quadrilateral. Third sub question of the problem number six. Same type problem. It is all practice problems. It is. You have to solve these problems, right? I assist you. You have to solve it. See this again. Four coordinates are given. We have to form a quadrilateral, and we have to understand what type of quadrilateral it is. The trick is same. What is the trick? All the sides you find. I am uh, very sorry. Is it a quadrilateral or is it belongs to square or a rhombus or a rectangle or a parallelogram or not belongs to any group? That you have to understand. Then suppose you require more information. Find the length of the diagonal also. Then obviously you can use. But for all these purposes, we are using a formula. Which is that formula? Distance formula. I write the distance formula. Distance formula. You have to write always. 
learning is very useful you have to learn then only you can arm learn first distance for allah t is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square you write what is the next one plus then y2 minus y1 whole square what is this no formula put a box for this it tells the value of this to understand formula is all then what type of uh, structure we are going to get quadrilateral quadrilateral is like any the quadrilateral you write quadrilateral name the quadrilateral as abcd four sided geometrical closed figure then the work is is very nice things they are given not even a single vertex is having a negative side or positive given easy positive given means easy no four comma five but take in the cyclic order four comma five is a then seven comma six is this b four comma three is uh, c and one comma two one comma two is b first i start Finding the length of AB. For that one, let x1 y1. X1 y1 I take as 4 to 5. That is the coordinate of A. X2 y2. X2 y2 is B. Coordinate of B. That is 7 comma 6. 7 comma 6. I am getting the value of AB. Distance from the right flank. All positive says x2 minus x1. 7 minus 4. First number, first number, first number. Plus 6 minus 5, first number. 6 minus 5, first number. Easy concept. AB. Is it what the square root of? Now use your mathematical skill. Seven minus four, three. Three square nine. Plus six minus five, one. One square one. AB is equal to root ten. AB is equal to root ten. That is one side of the quadrant. One side of the quadrant is root ten. That side is AB. The next side, BC. Let x1 y1 is equal to 7 comma 6. x2 y2. x2 y2 is equal to 4 comma 3. x2 y2 is equal to 4 comma 3. I am finding the length of BC. BC is equal to square root of. X2 minus X1, 4 minus 7, whole square. Plus 3 minus 6, whole square. 4 minus 7, whole square. 3 minus 6, whole square. BC is equal to. Now the skill of mathematics. 4 minus 7. When you subtract bigger number from the smaller number, you get negative number. 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. Plus 3 minus 6. Again the same thing. You are subtracting bigger number from the smaller number. You have to get negative. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 9 plus 9 is 18. The second measurement is. The length of BC is 18. Right? Now I go for CD. Let x1 y1 x1 y1 is equal to 4 comma 3 and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to 1 comma 2 1 comma 2. 4 comma 3, 1 comma 2. Now I am finding the length of CD. CD is equal to square root of 
वन माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर टू माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर वन माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर टू माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर सी डी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस फोर वन माइनस फोर इज माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन प्लस टू माइनस थ्री सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बिगर नंबर फ्रॉम द स्मॉलर नंबर यू हैव टू गेट नेगेटिव टू माइनस थ्री इज माइनस वन माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज वन सी डी इज इक्वल टू रूट टेन दिस इज द थर्ड साइड ऑफ द क्वार्टर लैटरल ए बी सी डी सी डी जो नव गे आई वॉन्ट टू फाइन द लेंथ ऑफ डी ए लेट एक्स वन वाई वन एक्स वन वाई वन इज इक्वल टू डी दट इज वन का मा टू एंड एक्स टू वाई टू एक्स टू वाई टू इज इक्वल टू फोर का मा फाइव फोर का मा फाइव आई एम फाइनिंग लेंथ ऑफ डी ए डी ए इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर ऑफ x2 टू माइनस एक्स वन फोर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन फाइव माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर फाइव माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर डी ए इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस वन इज थ्री फोर माइनस वन इज थ्री थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन प्लस फाइव माइनस टू इज थ्री Three square is nine. D A is equal to root eighteen. D A is equal to root eighteen. Four sides I calculated. What what is my inference? Is two sides. The length of two sides root ten root ten. Two sides root eighteen root eighteen. Which are those two sides? A B and C D is equal to root ten. A B and C D, opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal. Identify the quadrilateral where opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are equal under two different quadrilaterals. In one quadrilateral, it is rectangle. Another one is a parallelogram. One is rectangle. Another one is a parallelogram. How to differentiate between rectangle and parallelogram? If rectangle and parallelogram opposite sides are equal, then how to differentiate them? In rectangle, diagonals are equal. In rectangle, diagonals are equal. In parallelogram, diagonals are not equal. Therefore, to cross verify, we have to find the measurement of diagonals. The one diagonal is AC, another diagonal is BD. You have to find the diagonals. Suppose diagonals are equal, it becomes a rectangle. If diagonals are not equal, then it becomes a parallelogram. We cross check, right? Now, to find the diagonal, okay. Let first I find uh, AC. Let x1 y1. X1 y1 is equal to four comma five. Four comma five. X2 y2. A C I wanted to find, therefore I want the coordinate of C. C is four comma three, four comma three, four comma five, four comma three. A C is equal to square root of x two minus x one, four minus four, four square plus three minus five, three minus five, four square. Three minus five whole square. Then AC is equal to mathematical skill. Four minus four. What is the skill there? Four minus four is zero. Zero zero square plus three minus five is minus two. Minus two square is four. Minus two square is four. Now zero square plus four. Zero plus four is. I write one more step. AC is equal to Square root of four. AC is equal to square root of four. What is square root of four? Two. AC is equal to. I got one diagonal as two units. 
Now I, I find another atom that is BD. Let x1 y1 x1 y1 is equal to 7 comma 6 and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 now I am finding the length of BD BD is equal to 1 minus 7 whole square 1 minus 7 whole square plus 2 minus 6 whole square y2 minus y2 y2 minus pd again skill part 1 minus 7 subtracting bigger number from the smaller number you have to get negative number minus 6 minus 6 whole square 36 6 whole square is 36 plus 2 minus 6 same way Subtracting bigger number from the smaller number, you have to get negative number. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Minus 4 whole square. Minus 4 whole square is equal to minus 4 whole square is equal to 16. 4 square is 16. Now, 36 plus 16. BD is equal to root of 6 plus 6 is 12. 52. Now BD is equal to 52. Root 50. BD is equal to root 50. AC is equal to 2. BD is equal to root 52. What is my inference now? In this quadrilateral, lateral, opposite sides are equal but diagonals are not equal. Opposite sides are equal and diagonals are not equal. Then I can give a judgment that this is a parallelogram. In the case of a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, but diagonals are not equal. If diagonals are equal, I can say that it is a rectangle. But here, diagonals are not equal, it is a parallelogram. That is my judgment. I give the reasoning for here. See, the given, the given points are the vertices of Vertices of a parallelogram. Parallelogram. This is the vertices of a parallelogram. Why it is a vertices of a parallelogram? Because, because opposite sides are equal and diagonals. Diagonals are not equal that is the condition I repeat once again see sixth problem of this particular exercise 7.1 it is a testing for endurance very lengthy problem but the formula is only one that is a distance formula three problems I completed the third problem is they are given four vertices all the problems are same type they are given four vertices we have to check the, the vertices are of which type of quadrilateral? For that one, which formula we are using? We are using distance formula. What is distance formula? D is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Write a rough figure of a quadrilateral. Identify the vertices to go in a cyclic manner. Then measure, identify the lengths of each side by using the distance formula. In this case, what happened? When I identify the sides, opposite sides are equal, I understood. Opposite sides are equal means two quadrilateral come to my mind. One is the rectangle, another one is the parallelogram. In the case of a rectangle, diagonals are not, uh, diagonals are equal. In the case of a parallelogram, diagonals are not equal. Here, I calculated the distance of, of the diagonal, measurement of the diagonal. Diagonals are not equal. Why? Right? Because it is 2 and this is root 52. Since diagonals are not equal, I can conclude that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram because opposite sides are equal, diagonals are not equal. In exercise 7.1, all problems are based on the distance formula. Distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. All problems are understanding type of problems. But there, 
they ask you to under, uh, tell reason out some of the properties of the geometrical structures i solved six problems number all problems are based on uh, distance formula only and you have to practice you have to practice you have to write sit and write and solve the problem don't read the problem don't see the problem write 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 skill subjects are like that only maths is a skill subject if you see a person driving a car you never going to learn a driving to learn driving you have to drive the car the same way a person is swimming go on seeing the person who is swimming you don't get swimming you have to swim you have to jump into water the same way maths if you go on seeing other people are doing mathematics you don't learn mathematics to learn mathematics you have to solve problems you have to work it out such subjects are called skill subject driving is a skill sub skill knowledge swimming is skill maths is also skill therefore you have to write along with us now i am in the seventh problem of exercise 7.1 find the point on the x axis there is a point on the x axis which is equidistant from 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9 i told you all these problems are based on understanding what is understanding we all know that there is x axis right on the x axis if you put, put a mark to the points on the x axis all the points on the x axis there the y coordinate is zero y coordinate is zero therefore identify a point here there is a point i name this point as a it is a point on the x axis i am telling that imagine that there are coordinate system horizontal axis is x axis there is a point on the x axis what may be its coordinate its coordinate definitely it should be x comma 0 any point on the x axis its uh, y coordinate is zero that is the understanding part of this particular problem easy it is any point on the x axis y coordinate is zero any point may that that definitely there should be a problem like there is a point on the y axis there you consider the x coordinate as zero here there is a point x coordinate as x comma zero this point we have to find find the point on the x axis which is what is the characteristic which is equal distance from two points there are other two points here i call them as p and c these two points are equal distance means if this is d this is also d length is same the length of ab is equal to length of bc and now the coordinate of b i take it as 2 comma minus 5 it is given coordinate of c is minus 2 comma 9 now i want to find the value of x once i know the value of x that is the point for the coordinate of the point called a what is the speciality of the point a a is on the x axis question is find the point on the x axis which is equal distance from the point 2 comma minus 5 minus 2 comma 9 therefore these two are the points equal distance my trick is simple i find this distance i find this distance both the distances are equal i equal them simplify i get the value of x to find the distance which formula is to be used distance formula so therefore the first step is distance formula distance formula what are the ones if we write the distance formula yeah. d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the formula since it is a formula put a box you have to write with us now first what i do is uh, let let the point on the x axis because he is given something x axis is a and its coordinate is 
x gamma 0 that we take it into a is the point. Now I want to find the a b length. a b length again I write that. Now this time I write uh, let as x1 y1 is equal to x1 y1 is equal to 2 comma minus 5 that is I take in b this one and x2 y2 x2 y2 is equal to x comma 0 x comma 0 so I am finding the length of actually I am finding the length of b a b a or a b anything you can write nothing else. I write AB okay. AB equals square root of square root of x1 y1 is 2 comma minus 5 x2 y2 is x comma 0 now x2 minus x1 means x minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 0 minus r minus 5 whole square whole square then it becomes ab is equal to root of i don't do anything here root of x minus 2 whole square plus here i use mathematical skill minus into minus plus 5 plus 5, 5 square is 20. Now I keep like this. Why? Because here there is a root. After eliminating the root only, I can do it. Don't expand. AB is equal to square root of x minus 2 whole square plus 25. That is the length of AB. AB. Now I find the length of AC because according to the problem both the length are equal therefore the second part is let let x1 y1 x1 y1 is equal to minus 2 comma 9 and uh, x2 y2 is equal to x comma 0 that is the coordinate of the point on the x axis now what i do is i am finding the length of ac ac is equal to square root of x minus of minus 2 whole square x minus of minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 9 whole square 0 minus 9 whole square then it becomes AC is equal to square root of minus into minus plus it becomes X plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 9 is 9 9 square is 81 it is 81 right this is my the uh, uh, answer for AC. Now I know what is AB and what is AC. What is the relationship between AB and AC? They are equal. Therefore, AB is equal to AC. <coughs> AB is equal to AC. It is given. <coughs> AB is equal to AC given. Therefore, what is the value of AB? Root of x minus 2 whole square plus 25 is equal to root of x plus 2 whole square plus 81. <coughs> right? AB is equal to AC. Now, both the sides are roots are both sides roots are you can eliminate root both sides same therefore x minus 2 whole square plus 25 is equal to x plus 2 whole square plus 81 
Now we have to use the identity a plus b whole square and b minus b whole square. a minus b whole square a square plus b square that is 2 square minus 2ab 2 into 2 4 4x. Try to understand how I got your 4x. 2ab term it is. 5th standard. 5th standard. A, a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab 2 into a into b 2 into a 2x into 2 4x plus 25 this is 25 now this one a square plus b square plus 2ab this is minus 2ab that is plus 2ab a square x square plus b square 2 square plus 2ab, 2 into x, 2x, 2x into 2, 4x plus 81 plus 81 Before simplifying, if you find the common factors on the both sides, eliminate them See, I can easily eliminate x square, x square, gone Right? Plus 2 square, plus 2 square, both sides Same number, don't, don't eliminate this this is minus 4x and this is plus 4x. If you transfer it become 8x, you can't do that. Right? Now, what I do is, all numbers I keep one side and uh, uh, the constants at one side. Now, what happened? 4x is there. Right? Minus 4x, I transfer to this side. Minus 4x goes to this side. 81 comes to this side. 81 is what? Minus 81. Plus 81 comes to this side, it becomes minus 81, right? Therefore, it becomes minus 81 plus 25 is equal to 4x and the minus 4x from the right side plus 4x. Understood? Minus 4x gone to that side, it becomes plus 4x. There is another 4x there, 4x plus 4x. Plus 81 plus this side, it is minus 81 plus 25 right now I write this here now subtraction 11 1 is there 1 minus 5 not possible I take 1 11 11 minus 5 is 6 then what happened what is left here here 7 is left 7 minus 2 is 5 sign of the bigger number minus minus 56 is equal to 8x minus 56 is equal to 8x 4x plus 4x is 8x therefore x is equal to minus 56 by 8 you know the table of 8 8 7s are 56 x is equal to minus 7 the value of x is equal to minus 7 therefore the point on x axis is x axis is minus 7 comma 4 x comma 0 I have done x is equal to minus 7 I thought minus 7 comma see I repeat once again see the problem is very simple and very important this type of problems you can think in the public examination 3 marks the problem is a little simple only once you have to apply distance formula means 2 marks suppose if you have to apply distance formula twice means 3 marks easy it is find the point on the x-axis understanding if any point on the x-axis its y coordinate is 0 that is the understanding part therefore the point I take as x comma 0 uh, which is equidistant from the two points two points I simply write the uh, schematic diagram to identify this this distance is equal to this distance they are given in the which formula I am using? Distance formula. I am taking the uh, point on the x axis as a that is x comma 0. First I find the length of ad, I draw the equation. Then I find the value of distance of ac, I got the other equation. According to the problem, both the distances are equal, equidistant, equal, therefore ad is equal to ac. I equated. Both the sides are roots, I eliminated and I apply identities like a minus b whole square, a plus b whole square 
a square plus b square minus 2ab here, a square plus b square plus 2ab here, then transfer in the likes and unlikes terms, then I got minus 56 is equal to 8x, x is equal to minus 56 by 8, x is equal to minus 7, therefore I understood that the point on the x axis which is equidistant from the two points given is minus 7 comma 0. Exercise 7.1, we are in the 8th problem. The problem is, find the value of y for which the distance between the points p, 2 comma minus 3 and q, 10 comma y is 10 units. What is given in this problem is, he is given the distance between the two points p and q. In the point p, there are two coordinates they are given. 2 and minus 3. In the point Q, he is given the x variable, x uh, coordinate is given, y is not given, we have to calculate that value of y. This type of problem is very useful problem for the examination. Why? Because this pro these problems are not lengthy problems and this problem is meant for understanding type of problem. Therefore, uh, we are going to apply this uh, distance formula for only once shorter problem therefore it is going to fit for the area of two marks or three marks therefore you have to concentrate on this type of problems to score marks because these problems are important for examination the problem is there are two points right p and q are the two points p and q are the two points and the coordinate of p is 2 comma minus 3. Coordinate of q is 10 comma y. We have to find the value of y. What another data is given is, the distance between these two points is 10 units. How you calculated the distance between these two points? Definitely by distance formula. Therefore, we are going to apply the distance formula where the, the place of distance we write 10 units and we are going to uh, find the coordinates of the uh, y coordinate of the point Q. Very nice, very useful problem for the examination. What we have to do? First thing is distance formula we have to write. Distance formula. We know distance formula. D is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Distance formula we know. The next step is we have to identify the data. Which are the data is given? The data is let x1 y1 is given x1 y1 we are taking x1 y1 is equal to 2 comma minus 3 it is the coordinate of the point p x2 y2 is the coordinate of the point q that is 10 comma y he is given two points p and q we are taking one as x1 y1 another one as x2 y2 the next step is substituting these values to in the distance formula pq pq is the distance between the two points P and Q and uh, which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1, x2 is 10, x1 is 2. Therefore, the x2 minus x1 means 10 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 means y minus of minus 3 whole square because y1 is minus 3. Therefore, it is y minus of minus 3 whole square. On simplification, I get PQ is equal to square root of 10 minus 2 is 8 square plus Y minus of minus 3 means Y plus 3 whole square. Therefore, the, on simplification, I get PQ is equal to square root of 8 square plus Y plus 3 whole square. But here what happened, the length of PQ is given in the problem. Length of PQ is equal to what? That is the distance. Distance is given as 10 units, but PQ is equal to 10 units that is given in the problem. Therefore, I am going to substitute the value of PQ that is 10 in the next step. Therefore, the next step is 10 is equal to root of 8 square plus y plus 3 whole square. Inside the root, everything is intact. Same thing. I have not changed anything. In the place of PQ, I written 10. 10 is given in the problem. 10 is the distance between the two points. Now, to simplify this, one side it is square root is there. Therefore, to remove the square root, what we have to do is, we have to square along both sides. We have to square on both sides. 
then we can eliminate the square root. By squaring on both sides, what we can do is 10 square, it becomes 10 square, 10 square is 100, 100 is equal to, inside the root there is 8 square, 8 square can be written as 64, 8 into 8 is 64, 8 square is 64 and y plus 3 whole square as it is. Therefore, the next step is 100 is equal to 64 plus y plus 3 whole square. Now, I transfer 64, the constant value to this side, constant and variable I am segregating it. 100 minus 64 is equal to y plus 3 whole square. 100 minus 64 is 36. 36 is equal to y plus 3 whole square. 36 is equal to y plus 3 whole square. To remove the square, what you have to do? You have to take square roots on both sides. When you take square roots on both sides, the square goes, it becomes y plus 3 is equal to plus r minus 36. We know that square root of 36 is 6. Therefore, y plus 3 is equal to plus r minus 6. Now, we have two values there, plus 6 and minus 6. y plus 3 is equal to plus 6. y plus 3 is equal to minus 6. Two values are there. y plus 3 is equal to plus r minus 6 minus 3. The two values are y is equal to 6 minus 3 or y is equal to minus 6 minus 3. Here, y is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 and y is equal to minus 6 minus 3 is minus 9. Therefore, we already calculated the value of y. We got y is equal to two values are there. y is equal to 3 or y is equal to minus 9. Therefore, the coordinate of q may be 10 comma 3 or 10 comma minus 9. Both the values are going to satisfy the given condition of the problem. The problem is the distance between the two points is 10, 10 units. Therefore, the, the coordinate of the point Q may be 10 comma 3. In that case also, the distance become 10 units. If it is 10 comma minus 9, then also the distance between P and Q equals 10 units. That is a very nice problem. Simple problem it is. You have to practice. You have to practice, write and practice. And this type of problems are very important for the public examination. Now, the ninth problem of the exercise 7.1. The ninth problem is like this. If Q 0, 1 is equidistant from P 5, minus 3 and R x, 6, find the values of x. He is given values more than 1 it is. Find the values of x. Uh, also find the distances of QR and PR. The question is, Q is a point. Its coordinate is 0, 1. And this point is equidistant from the point P. That is, coordinate is 5, 3. And another point R, coordinate is x, 6. Therefore, what he is telling is, the distance of QP is equal to distance of qr both are equidistant now we have to find the value of x this value you have to find x value distances are equal the length of qp is equal to length of qr we have to find uh, the value of x values of x equal then after that you have to find the length of qr and length of pr Length of QR is same as length of QP because the E is only given QP and QR are equidistant. Distance to calculate we require distance formula. The distance formula is D is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. First we write the data. The data of QP, Q. I wanted to find the distance of QP because both the values I know. The coordinate of Q I consider as x1, y1. It is equal to 0, 1. Coordinate of P I consider that as x2, y2. It becomes 5, minus 3. Now using this data, by applying distance formula, I find the distance. The distance of QP. Therefore, QP is equal to square root of distance formula is what? Square root of 
x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, y2 is minus 3 minus y1 is 1 whole square. Simplification. QP is equal to 5 minus 0 is 5, 5 minus 0 is 5 means 5 square plus minus 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 4, minus 4 square. Again simplification, 5 square is 25 minus 4 whole square is 16, QP is equal to root of 25 plus 16, QP is equal to root 41, that is my first answer. What is telling the length of QP is same as length of QR. Now I am going to find the length of QR because this length and this length are same. The distance is I calculated as root 41. Now the second part of the problem is finding the length of QR. To find the length of QR data is x1, y1. I consider the coordinates of q as x1, y1. Therefore, it is 0, 1. x1, y1 is equal to 0, 1. And x2, y2, I consider point R. Coordinates of the point R as x2, y2. It becomes x, 6. Apply distance formula. Distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Therefore, with the distance of QR, is equal to square root of x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square or 6 minus 1 whole square. Simplification. QR is equal to root of x square, x minus 0 is x, x square plus 6 minus 1 is 5, 5 square. QR is equal to root of x square plus 5 square is 25. This is the length of q1. This is the length of qp. But uh, according to the data, the length of qp is equal to length of qr. That is, the, but qr is equal to qp. That is given in the data. Therefore, we, we can equate the root 41 and root x square plus 25. That is our next step. Root 41 is equal to root of x square plus 20. Here both sides roots are there. Therefore, eliminate the root by squaring on both sides or simply eliminate that. Okay. 40, therefore, 41 is equal to x square plus 25. Now, the 25 has to be transferred to this side. Uh, uh, constants at one side and variables at another side. Therefore, it becomes 41 minus 25 is equal to x square. 41 minus 25, we know that it is 16. Therefore, x square is equal to 16 and uh, x is equal to plus r minus square root of 16, that is x is equal to plus r minus 4. Therefore, we have two values for x. x can be plus 4 or x can be minus 4. Therefore, the coordinate of r, coordinate of r may be 4 comma 6 or minus 4 comma 6. Here what happened, whenever you wanted to find it, the next part of the problem is you have to find the distance of QR. You can find the distance of QR by taking the x as plus 4 or x as minus 4. The same way, if you wanted to find the distance of PR, you have to take x as 4 and x as minus 4. But we get the values of x as plus 4 or minus 4. Now we go to the next part of the problem. Here, we, we know the coordinate of 4, uh, r as 4 comma 6. I taken as plus 4, 4 comma 6. By considering the coordinate of r as 4 comma 6, now I wanted to find the distance of qr. But actually the distance of qr is same as distance of qp. It is given in the problem. Distance of qp I calculated as root 41. Therefore, irrespective of the value of x that is plus 4 or minus 4, the length of qr remains root 41. There is no need because it is already given in the problem. Uh, qp and qr are equidistant. The p and r points are equidistant from the q. qp is root 41, then qr is 
definitely it should be root 41 irrespective of the values of x that we can cross check it by using the formula that formula is called distance formula distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the first thing is i want to find the distance qr to find the distance of qr i consider the co coordinate of the q that is 0 comma 1 as x1 y1 and the coordinate of r that is 4 comma 6 then the first step is substitution the substituting the values of data to the formula that is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here x2 minus x1 is equal to 4 minus 0 whole square plus y2 minus y1 is equal to 6 minus 1 whole square the next is simplification 4 minus 0 is 4 6 minus 1 is 5 therefore qr is equal to square root of 4 square plus 5 square 4 square uh, plus 5 square is equal to 16 plus 25 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 qr is equal to root of 16 plus 25 qr is equal to root 41 our answer is exactly right why because qp is already calculated as uh, root 41 we got qr also as root 41 therefore according to the given data of the problem the Q, P and R are equidistant from the Q. Therefore, we got the same answer. The second part is, now we have to find the distance of PR. The data is, X1, Y1 is equal to 5, comma minus 3. I take the coordinates of P as X1, Y1 and coordinate of R that is 4, comma 6 as X2, Y2. Then, substituting this data to the formula that is distance formula, PR, the distance PR to be calculated, PR is equal to root of 4 minus 5, 4 minus 5 means x2 minus x1 whole square, 4 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is 6 minus of minus 3 whole square. After substitution we go for simplification, PR is equal to root of minus 1 whole square plus 6 plus 3 whole square, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 square. Then PR is equal to root of 1 plus 81. 9 square is 81 minus 1 whole square is 1. PR is equal to root 82. That is the answer for the distance of PR. Now the question is, suppose if I replace the value of X as minus 4, you can verify it. If R is equal to minus 4 comma 6 by considering X as minus 4, the length of QR definitely going to become minus root 41 only, but length of PR becomes root 162 that you can verify by applying the values of minus 4 and uh, 6 for the coordinates of R. You get uh, the QR value is root 41 and PR value is root 162. This you have to work it out right? because it is a verification part. When you get PR as root 162, it can be written as 81 into 2. Therefore, this can be written in the form of 9 root 2. Root 162 can be written as 9 root 2. This you have to verify. There, consider the co uh, coordinate of R as minus 4 comma 6 and Q as 0 comma 1. Apply to the same formula, you get the answer. But it is not required in the problem. We, I consider X as plus 4. You can even consider X as minus 4 because the value of X is plus r minus 4. This is all about the problem, ninth problem and nice problem it is. Now we go for the last problem of the exercise 7.1. That problem is also solved by the distance formula. The distance formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. The problem runs like this. Find the relationship between x and y. You have to find the relationship between x and y. You have to frame an equation between having x and y such that the point x comma y is equidistant from the point 3 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 4. There are two points that are equidistant from the point x, y. Therefore, there is a point x comma y. There is another point 3 comma 6. One more point minus 3 comma 6. The, po the point x, y is equidistant from these two points. Therefore, the distance, this distance and this distance are equal. 
same way the previous problem how we did apply the distance formula and equating the equation we can able to get the answer for this particular problem the formula i am going to use is distance formula that is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the first i required data now i am going to find the distance between x comma y and 3 comma 6 the data is x1 y1 is equal to 3 comma 6 x2 y2 is equal to x comma y now substituting the values to the distance formula d is equal to square root of x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square this much only we can do nothing else to there to simplify then i wanted to find the distance of x comma y and minus 3 comma 4 the data is x1 y1 is equal to minus 3 comma 4 x2 y2 is equal to x comma y substitute these values to the distance formula that is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square by substitution i get d is equal to square root of x minus of minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 here x minus of minus 3 minus of minus 3 becomes plus 3 therefore there is one step of simplification is there d is equal to square root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square now i got two things here what they are given is these three the point x comma y is equidistant from the 3.6 and minus 3 comma 4 the, the points are at equal distance it is given in the problem therefore i can equate these two equations therefore the root of x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square is equal to root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square when you see the equation you can easily understand the both sides of the equation we can have we have uh, square roots eliminate the square roots when you eliminate the square root the equation remains x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square plus is equal to x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square now see these equations terms carefully they will attract an identity x minus 3 a minus b y minus 6 a minus b whole square x plus 3 a plus b whole square y minus 4 a minus b whole square therefore we are using the identity either a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square depending upon the identity available now x minus 3 can be written as x square a minus b whole square is a square plus b square b square is 3 square 3 square is 9 minus 2ab means minus 6 x minus 3 whole square can be written as x square plus 9 minus 6 x y minus 6 whole square can be written as y square plus 36 minus 12 y this is a square plus b square minus 2ab equals a plus b x plus 3 whole square x square plus 3 square plus 6x a square plus b square plus 2ab 2ab becomes 6x plus 6x again a minus b whole square y minus 4 whole square y square plus uh, 16 minus 8y both sides are there when you see the equation again we have equal terminal terms on all both sides x square is there x square is there you can cancel it out 9 is there, 9 is there, you can cancel. y square and y square is there, you can cancel. First we cancel x square and x square. x square and x square is gone. 9 and 9 is gone. y square, y square is gone. Then what is left in the equation? The left part is minus 6x plus 36 minus 12y is equal to 6x plus 16 minus 8y. Now we have to frame a relation, right? Therefore, uh, transfer all the terms to one side and equate the other side to 0. Where, which side to transfer? This is plus 6x and this is minus 6x. Therefore, transfer to the plus part. Transfer all terms to RHS. Right? Here, 6x plus 16 minus 8y is the RHS and the minus 6x is going to transfer. It becomes plus 6x plus 36 has to be transferred it becomes minus 36 minus 12y is going to transfer it becomes plus 12y then the equation becomes 6x plus 16 minus 8y this is this part of the 
equation and this part of the equation is transferred minus 6 plus 6 plus 36 minus 36 minus 12y it becomes plus 12y is equal to 0. Now add and subtract the like terms 6x plus 6x plus x minus 8y plus 12y becomes plus 4y plus 16 minus 36 is equal to minus 20 is equal to 0. That is my next equation that is 12x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. When you see this equation keenly you can understand there is a common factor here. We can eliminate, we can divide each and every term by 4 because all the terms are having 4 as a common factor. Therefore, 12 divided by 4 becomes 3, 4 divided by 4 becomes 1, 20 divided by 4 becomes 5. Therefore, the equation becomes after eliminating the common factor, the equation becomes 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. That is the relation required as an answer for this particular problem. And my answer is 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 is the relationship between x and y when the point x comma y is equidistant from the points 3 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 4. See children, I completed all the 10 problems of exercise 7.1. All the problems are based on distance formula. Distance formula is the very important problem uh, formula for the 10th standard public examination. What you have to do is you have to solve this problem once again and remember the formula that formula is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This formula definitely make you to score marks in the public exam. 100% you are going to get one question out of about this uh, formula that formula is distance formula.